What is going on you guys? We are back at it with another Properties of Vlogs video. <laughs> so, <laughs> like I said in the last video, you should we're going to be doing examples today. But before we do that, we are going to review over the properties real fast. So here, this is just a quick review over the properties. The power property is that if you have, you know, an exponent inside of our logarithm. So exponent. It's going to turn it into multiplication. For the product, if you have a multiplication inside of our function, we can turn it into addition. And for a quotient, if it's division, we can turn it into subtraction. And for a change of base, uh, you kind of just got to remember this. So that's a quick review over our properties. And we are going to add a couple more. And these are called the inverse properties. If you want a quick too long didn't read, you can just, I'm just going to write them down right here. And you don't have to listen to this part. So let's say you have b to the log base b of x. This is going to be equal to x. And we have, if you have log base b of b to the x, this is also going to be x. All right. So if you don't care, you just want to memorize this, whatever, you're lost. But if you want to understand this, then hang on here. So the reason why this is the case, and it's called inverse properties for a reason. If you dig deep, you should be able to remember that two things are inverses if, you know, f, f of x and g of x are inverses if f of g of x is equal to x and g of f of x is equal to x. And this is exactly the property that we were using. So let's say f of x is b to the x, our exponential function. And then g of x is log base, log base b of x. So if, if, if you do a composition of functions for these two things, because we know that they're defined as inverses, we can say that they're equal to x. And there's also a different way to show that this is true too. But this is the way that I'm gonna show you. So these are our two inverse properties. So let's go over some examples of what questions might look like. So this says condense. So this means you are going to want to make everything into one logarithm. It means put it all into one log. All right, so we have to kind of go backwards. So we have multiplication out here. We have a four on the outside. What we can do is we can write this as an exponent. So we can say this is y to the fourth. And then over here, we have a subtraction. So with the subtraction, we can write that as a division. So we can have log base three of x divided by y to the fourth. So what we're doing is we're kind of going backwards. If you take a look at that last slide, if you want to rewind and take a look at that last slide, we'll see that we're going from right to left instead of left to right. So that's this problem. Let's go ahead and do the next one. A bit more of a spicy one, you could say. So we have condense here. So what we can do is we can follow order of operations. So we have log of x plus log of y inside the parentheses. Let's go ahead and deal with that first. So on the outside, so we have log of x and log of y inside the parentheses. So let's go ahead and deal with that first. So let's do log of x times y because we're going from addition to multiplication and we have a two on the outside here, minus five log of z. 
So now we have a two on the outside. So we can put that into an exponent. So we have log of x, y. Make sure you have this in parentheses before you square it, because if you don't, then you'll just square the y and not the x. And then subtract log of z to the fifth. So we're going from multiplication to a, a power. Now lastly, we have a subtraction. So we need to do a, we need to change it to a division. So we should have log of x, y, everything squared over z to the fifth. And that is our answer. So let's go ahead and take a look at the other type of problem, which are expansion problems. So what we're gonna do here is we are going to make uh, a lot of logs. Well, we're gonna make them simple logs because right now we have kind of a complex one. So we're gonna make these simpler. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split X and Y up. So let's do log base three of X and since they're multiplied, we should do an addition, plus log base three of y to the one half. Next thing we gotta do is we gotta move this one half uh, on the outside and use our power property. So this will be log base three of x plus one half times log base three of y. So all I did is I used our power property from power to multiplication. And this would be our answer. This would be our answer. So I got one last example for you. Let's expand this guy. So we are just gonna do the same thing. We have log base two of seven. And since seven is multiplied by x plus x squared, sorry, we're gonna add plus log base two of x squared. It's also multiplied by w, so we can add log base two of w. And now we're actually pretty much almost done. So we, all, all, all that's left is uh, this two that's in our exponent here. So all we have to do is use one power property and change this exponent to a multiplication, so two times log base two of x, and then add log base two of w, just like we had written before. And we have our lovely answer. So that's gonna be it for the types of problems you might see on properties of logs. And yeah, that's it. So I'll see you next week in a new video.